I am normally referees officials biggest critic but the linesman on both occasions was absolutely brilliant in both those situations got both decisions spot on and, and they were very very difficult decisions to see as well I think it's worth saying without VAR you know yeah. video assistant referee you know it's not in the Premier League at the moment um, and I, I thought the officials showed great authority of course people will moan about them Liverpool fans in particular, but you know, I think they made big calls and I, they got them right. All right. Credit to them. So you are anti VAR, just to check. No, 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 I think there the, is the scope for VAR. No, I think there well, is scope VAR's, for VAR. VAR's, to, VAR's to be been getting VAR. the decisions wrong. That's the problem. You know, and these, these officials have seen it in real time and they've got the decisions spot on. And I think what was brilliant, and I don't know if the viewers were able to hear it wherever they were watching this but you heard the conversation with the linesman and the referee actually discussing why, the first one, why it wasn't offside for Harry Kane when he was fouled. Now, this is what the linesman sees. He sees Harry Kane in an offside position. When the ball is played, the linesman doesn't have to flag or isn't supposed to flag until Harry Kane touches the ball or becomes active in play. Okay, you know what? We're, we're actually going to boost up the audio from the uh, the referees. They were having a long discussion aside to see exactly what was being said. Liverpool, Kane was in an offside position, and I wonder whether that's the subject of debate too. So, so what happens is, it's a shame I don't know whether we can roll it back or not. As the ball is played through, Kane is in offside position, but he's not offside until he touches the ball. That's when the linesman, that, that's the law, when he has to put his flag up. Because the only decision that the, the linesman got wrong, called him Louvren instead of Lovren. <laughs> but because Lovren touches it, the game is all effectively restarted at that point. So here, so, yeah. Kane's offside, but he doesn't touch the ball. So he's not, technically, he's not active in the play. And it's an easy clearance. He's not interfering with Lovren. He's not doing anything to affect the play. So as this ball gets played forward, if we, if it, as it just rolls on, there, it's now touched by Lovren. And therefore, Kane is now no longer in an offside position. So the linesman called it perfectly. He said, look, I can't see if that ball was played. In actual fact, I think it took another touch off Wijnaldum as well, if you go yeah. right the way yeah. back. So the linesman said, look, Kane was in offside position unless it touched a Liverpool player and I couldn't see that from my position. The referee said, well, it did. Lovren touched it, so therefore he's onside. It's a penalty. And, the, yeah, I make you 100% right with that. You know, it's, it's a difficult decision. The officials got it right. And then what about... The whether, whether, you what agree, about yeah, whether, the... whether you agree with the law or not about yeah. whether Kane should have been, that is the law as yeah, it stands, sure. and the officials got the law right. But what about the contact... I think it's Kane a penalty. on the keeper. You know, I... There's minimal contact, in all honesty, but if Harry Kane doesn't get his feet off the ground a little bit, then, then he takes him out, that yeah. is for sure. I, 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 think there's no, I don't think there's any argument about the penalty, because as, if he has another step, he gets wiped out, he's going over, trying to protect himself a little bit to lessen the impact, mm. exaggerates the dive a little bit, it's sort of flat but out. But who doesn't? Yeah, but that's, that's not, that's not, there's nothing wrong with that. You have to do that. Sadly for him, it was, it was a, a shocking penalty. Yeah, I mean, was he just hoping that the keeper would move? I mean, should he, should he have approached it slightly differently if he wants to go well, down the middle? Well, I, well, I think if, if you're striking it down the middle, you have to get more height on it than that because if the goalkeeper dives and, and leaves his legs behind a little bit, you need to make sure the ball is above those. And, and, and but on that occasion, the keeper's called Harry's 
bluff. And he's, it's he's a side foot. There. It's a side foot down the middle. I think the ki he's expecting the keeper to dive to his left and then sort of just bend it down the middle. Keeper didn't really move. The, the great players that do that, Eden Hazard is magnificent. He looks at the goalkeeper, he looks at the goalkeeper, looks at the goalkeeper, and then last minute looks at the ball and tucks it the, yeah. the other way. Yeah. Gary said it in, in real time. He didn't give the goalkeeper enough time to move out of the way. <laughs> so yeah. you've either got to smash that or wait until the goalkeeper's gone and, yeah. and roll it in the other side. I always think it's quite simple. From 12 yards, with only the goalkeeper to beat, if you don't score, it's a bad penalty. Yeah. End of. If you could say anything to Jurgen Klopp right now about the match, <laughs> about the decisions, what would it be? I think he might have rose-tinted glasses, um, for, for sure. I think when he sees it back, and this is what I'm saying, the decision was correct by the laws of the game. I don't actually agree with that law. I mm. think Harry Kane is in an offside position, but that's not the law of the game. And so the officials have got it spot on. The second one is a, is a penalty. It kicks him. So, so this is, he's not offside. I think it actually touches Wijnaldum as well, but there, because it gets a, a touch off Lovren, yeah. he's not offside. That is the law of the game. That's what you know. the directive from FIFA, UEFA is. So the referees, they've discussed it, which I think was brilliant that we actually heard that discussion yeah. of them coming together as a pair and saying what went on. I saw this, what did you see? And together is what they're supposed to do. They've communicated brilliantly. They've got it spot on. Whether you don't, if you don't like the law, that's tough, but they've got the decision right. Yeah. And even the second one, same thing, it kicks him. I thought it's brilliant as well where Ericsson is saying that the defender definitely touched him, yeah. touched the ball. Just, and just to make sure. going, he definitely didn't touch the ball. Yeah. You know? I, I guess you've got a bat for your side, haven't you? Of but, course, yeah. Uh, you know, Chan was basically telling porky pies, wasn't he, as well? Trying to influence the officials.